off the curve, ready? Nobody pray for me. It been a day for me. Yeah, yeah. Before this video starts guys, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I'm super close to 8,000 subscribers if I haven't hit it yet. My goal is to hit 10,000 by the end of the year, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure to leave this video a thumbs up, and I hope you guys enjoy. The plan today is to finish all the mounting and everything for the motor basically. And then also, now after talking to a few people that um, have done this previously, they know that it flexes super bad, I guess, or whatever, on the 50cc frame. So I might have to run a bar from like here to here to support this from like flexing from the motor. But we'd have to make tabs up on top of this. That'd be the best spot. We'll have to wait till we get my seat on and figure that out. All right, so we're starting out, taking the motor out, and getting it back to the frame so we can finish all the welds now. And then we'll have to put it all back together all again. Right, you can pick it up like a dirt bike on your stand. It was a mission that we uh, we we got disconnected after his design got all tangled up. He's he's holding the motor, but has his ass to the frame, so we can't move the frame. And he's trying to hold the motor with one arm. And then uh, you you guys could you guys can see it in the video. But he's about to start welding. Really, just gonna finish everything basically. I have to order a new shock. This one I don't know if you guys can see. I'll just show you when we put the motor back in. It's about like two inches off. It's supposed to be like here onto the motor, and it's way over here. So we have to cut that off. I'm gonna order a adjustable coil over. We're gonna weld all this. We're gonna make uh, like gussets for right here to make this really strong, and then. Uh, Look at the way we patched this hole, I forgot. Hey, we cut a huge it. hole in there. We have to grind it down and then, uh, yeah. But we didn't have anything to weld, so we used a fucking washer. We need to cut this off, too. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna wait. All right. Zion's going in. Oh, fuck, he's going straight to welding first. Going straight to welding. What do you want to do? Going straight to welding and then, uh, yeah. I have that ride in about two to three weeks from now, so. We got that amount of time. And, uh... Oh yeah, okay, this is this is not OSHA ready, bro. This is, no, we need to use the vise. Come over here. Yeah, that'll work. Yo, that'll work perfect. Oh my. See, so I'll lay a bead in there and then across the top of that. Yeah. Okay, that's perfect. Then this side. Right there, bada bing, bada boom. You got it? I tried to do that last night and it didn't end well, Zion. Oh, you gotta put the kickstand up. Put the kickstand up. We're gonna do the welds all the way around the top because we got the bottom ones done. Then we're gonna do the gussets back there. Yeah, we're welding on the gussets right back here right now to cover up those uh, caps that were exposed and then we're golden. Got the sun setting. Just looking over the whole frame, there's a bunch of spots that we want to weld just to make stronger, such as like this, which is literally stock on this moped, this gaping hole back here. Um, we're gonna, I need to throw some welds somewhere. There. I'm gonna grind some of these spots so we can just throw some more welds and strengthen it because this shit's about to be abused and used. It needs to be super strong. 
And for those of who like didn't get the full idea of how we made the motor mount in yesterday's video, literally took square tubing, cut off the old mounts that usually come out of here, cut those off and weld them to a new tubing and then just leveled it all out. Taco Bell, man. Well, I was gonna grind it, but I guess Zion just wanted to or something because he just took over. Dude, where the fuck did my safety glasses go now? We're making the wheelie pegs extra strong now. They were a little bit iffy beforehand, so we're just strengthening them just to know for peace of mind that they won't bend again. So we got so much stuff fixed up and re-welded. Now um, I'm just gonna cut this other old engine mount off and then uh, I think I'm gonna pick up some black paint and finish all this, but I also wanna move my battery somewhere to the back. I gotta get Put the motor back in and see where everything fits plastic wise and then figure out for that one bar that's going across the strength in the whole frame. I gotta put all the plastics on, figure that out, figure where I can fit my battery, make sure everything fits with the motor like the seat and everything like that and then I'll do more but everything right now is about to be put the motor in and then test fit and then it has to be taken all back apart and then finally done but in the end this thing will be so worth it. This shit. I cut this shit so much better than fucking your boy over here who took an inch out of my frame. Blow. Now I'm just gonna grind that down. Shit. You take shit. Hold on. We're gonna put the frame and the motor back together and just make sure everything's prime. Um, I'm gonna order my shock probably tonight. We gotta move the shock over to about here, but I'm gonna wait until we get the new shock just to make sure. Really, everything's just gonna be test fitting now. I'm gonna put the seat and I'm gonna put everything on right now. See how it fits. Um, Curious to see if everything will fit with the carburetor because the carburetor looks like it sits pretty high. Plus, where that new bar sits, I might have to cut out my seat. So, uh, we're about to see right now. So, one man short this time. So, uh, let's see. I think we'll be golden though. Where's the nut? Let me, nut? Let me put my nut on this bolt. Dude, it actually went through. Oh my god. It was the it, just a tight fit, you know? Come on now. Cross throwing the shit out of it. Oh yeah, okay. Dude, you're using the wrong nut. This isn't the proper nut. Now this nut's so warm. Oh my. It's almost all the way in Zion. Zion. Houston. Oh yeah, we hit land. Land ho. Three things she makes. She makes brownie, brownies, oatmeal raisin cookies, and chocolate chip. Which one do you think this is? Oatmeal. Oatmeal? I think so too. No, it's, it's, always the, it's always in this container. Oh, oatmeal. oatmeal. Dude, the neighbor is the fucking plug, I promise you. I'm about to ride this bad boy down the driveway. Now this is going to be the ultimate test to see if it fucking snaps. Dude, I don't want to fucking get raped by some screws right now. Oh, the tire! Alright, no PSI. Oh my! Hold on. Oh, dude, we're fucking prime. I might hit a wheelie down the street on this right now. We just cleaned everything up. I'm about to grab the seat and see where it fits. It's not gonna sit down. We're gonna have to cut the seat because of that. Because that bar that goes across, but. Dude, it looks clean though. Like, it. Like, once I paint that motor mount, you're not even gonna be able to tell. Dude, <coughs> look at all the wiring in there though. That's nasty. It's gonna be alright though. Look at it. Dude. Oh my. Where's all the plastic? <laughs> Look at it. it clears the bar barely, but we got space. Dude, we're golden, man. This just looks obnoxious right now because I don't have anything back here. Like, I'm, I'm my gas tank's like that tall. <laughs> that shock's ready to go though. That's some, I didn't hear no cracking. You hear a wolf crack? No. Alright. 
Oh, dude, this is... Bro, this just feels like it's gonna fucking... Tomorrow. Everything welding wise, everything mounting wise is done. That means all I have to do is electrical, hook up my gas tank, run fuel, get the carburetor all hooked up, and it's ready to go. I'm literally so stoked right now. You guys need to make sure you're subscribed and ready for the videos coming soon because it's about to be mop boys, wheelies, everything. We're gonna get RJ's done and it's crunch time. It's going to be fun. And the huge ride going on in a couple weeks, you guys need to stay tuned for that because it's going to be all, all super fun. The bar that we're going to run, I think we're going to have to cut a hole in the seat and mount it through or something. And I think we're going to re-weld the top of this because it looks like just stock. It doesn't have that, that strong of welds right there. So I want to make sure it's as strong as possible, especially right here. Because the last thing I want is the frame bending or anything, so. Make sure to leave a thumbs up for this video, guys. You guys can buy mop board stickers. My email's in the description below, as always. Um, also, go check out some other videos in the playlist. And let me know what you guys think. Leave a thumbs up if you guys dig it. Make sure to hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Guys, it happened. 8,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much for 8,000 subscribers. Actually, I started off the year with like 1,000 subscribers, so it's pretty crazy. A lot of sweet stuff coming soon, so stay tuned. Currently just going through all the comments on the new video I'm replying. I try to reply to every comment or every DM you guys send me on the Mop Boys account. Um, I get a lot of questions on there. You guys can always feel free to ask me. and I'll answer with the best advice I can. Sometimes I don't know. Um, I learn a lot from you guys also in the comments below, for, so thanks for always leaving a comment with suggestions of how to do things, especially on RJ's uh, scooter. Uh, I really do read them and I really do pay attention to what you guys are saying. Um, and a lot of it helped me, so thank you guys for that.